Hello everyone, we're doing another video today. Now, me and Gary here uh, did a video, the mystery bag. Mystery bag, yeah. yeah and you have deep, deep fried the oak. Yeah, just did some slithers, deep fried it. Took them out, a bit of salt, let them dry it up, give a bit and, of texture and, and then to that. Put them in like a, a, a bit of a garnish. Now I was driving up and I was thinking, oak cakes in a fryer. How can we put oak cakes in a fryer? We were filling black cheese in the fryer, it's all cooked, it's all nice, crispy edges. I'm well, making your mouth water yet. So Gary here, I'll give the idea to Gary a couple of weeks ago. He's been also racking his brain left, right, and centre and trying to experiment to come up with something that we can show you today. So, what have we got, Gary? So, we've got three oat cakes, we've got a grated cheddar cheese filling, we've got fatter cheese filling, and we've also got a mozzarella one as well. So, what I uh, did earlier on in the week is some experiments. So, we've got some uh, oat cakes rolled up, a bit like a spring roll, we've got some cocktail sticks through there just to hold it in. What I'm going to do is just put a little bit of flour on, yep. and a little bit of oat cake batter, just yep. to seal that edge, just to help us along with it. Yep. Only a little bit, not loads. Gently. A bit of flour in. So we, we, we've kind of done it like a wrap, and the trouble we get is trying to hold it all together. Normally we do, on a spring roll, we'd use egg yolks to seal it, but because the oat yep. cake's so thick, we just need something to help seal that edge straight away as soon as it hits the fryer. Give us a helping hand. Yeah. Are we doing one at a time? We'll do them all at once. We're doing all at once, all in one go. No messing with Gary. That's what I like about him. Yeah, straight in. On the last one. Yes, we are Wendy, we're filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just filming. Oh, no, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Gary, would you fry these for? Well, I'm going to eat until they go they gone brown straight away. Just like uh, it's not something we can open up. Can't just open them up and go. Ah, she's ready. We're going to fry them probably about four minutes. Take yeah. them out, season them, let them rest a bit. Let our cheese melt a little bit, yeah. and then eat them straight away. We, can't, we don't want to leave them lying around too long. Just yeah, to start the cheese will start going. It's not something we can make because it's dry. We're going to eat it tomorrow or no. in a few more. Like, no, you need to eat this as soon as it comes out. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Full of good ideas. Yeah. 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 Plus that cocktail sticks down in the way of it, will you? Yeah, yeah. See the purpose. I mean, I, I was thinking you could pan fry them, like shallow fry in oil, and then you have to turn them over, so there is a bit of a... Uh, like, how about if you're holding them with the pincers? Instead of putting them in the shape yeah, of the pan. Yeah, would that work? You, uh, you can try that, but the deep pan fry is just obviously serves the purpose. Pulls out at the yeah. same time, it creates a shell at the same yeah. time. Yeah. But if you can turn it over all the time, and yeah, the, yeah. the, the cheese and the cheese will start to melt yeah. and leak out. Yeah, yeah. You just need a whole shell straight straight away rather than doing it in close. It's gone nice and golden brown. So these are like a oat cake spring roll with cheese in the middle. Uh, what would you call these again? Spring rolls? It's all a cheese oat cake roll. It's not, it's not, it's not a spring roll. No. It's all a oat roll. Simple concept. So there we go. We've got three different cheese fillings. One of them yeah, just nice so far, just taking it out. Uh, nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. Yeah. You can see the oat cake batter's done its job on the bottom as well. Again, this is just experimentation. Yeah. So what do we do now? Do you take the, take the sticks take out, the sticks and then we'll see if it's weird. Holds together. On a scale of 1 to 10, Gary, how healthy are these? 10 being really unhealthy. 
Yeah. I'd say 12. 12, okay. So we have once, once a month, once a month. Yeah, every just not, not, not every morning, you know, just for the health.